What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Keith. I'm back with another video. Video. As y'all can see, I just left the barber shop, man. Uh, shout out to the bar to my barber, man, Shima. Um, if y'all ever up here, y'all need a cut. I get y'all linked up. But um, yeah. So basically, in this video, what I'll be doing is um, I got some crazy friends. You feel me? Uh, basically. What's happening is, uh, Kaylin hit me up like, bruh, let's go to New York. I'm like, cool, let's plan for it, you feel me? Like, we can get a little trip in, you feel what I'm saying? So, I'm like, okay, thinking that, okay, it's gonna be before the end of the year. She like, nah, let's go Wednesday. I'm like, the 12th? She like, yeah, let's go Wednesday, just for the day. I'm like, bruh, what? She's like, brother, tickets are $40, let's do it. So I'm like, man, all right, let's get it. So we about to uh, spend, what, 12 hours in New York. So basically, um, but before we do that, and I get prepared for that, um, I had to, of course, first go get a haircut. And next up, what I'll be doing is, I'm gonna be going to uh, Dick Sporting Goods because I'm gonna show y'all my running shoes. I told y'all I was preparing for a 5K, but the bottom of my current running shoes are torched like i'm almost damn near on the ground my socks are on the ground through the shoes so i gotta go grab some new running shoes so i'm gonna be going to dick sporting goods and try to find some fire running shoes um that i can have from now on you feel what i'm saying uh but then what i do is when i get home i got a couple pickups i want to show y'all that i've uh, recently copped so i'll show y'all that and then um probably the next time i pick up the video y'all probably see me leaving the house in the morning or getting ready for the airport i don't know but i'll tap back in with y'all when i uh, get the dick sporting goods so i just got a dick sporting goods you feel me i don't know if y'all ever heard of this brand on a lot of people be talking about these they say it feel like you walking on clouds um now i had a pair of hocus i had a pair similar to these that were actually pretty good that i like um that was the first pair of runner shoes that i had I'm gonna keep looking around, see what all they got, and I'll keep y'all updated. I also had a pair of these before. These are actually pretty good running shoes. Let's see. I'm sorry. Uh, these are pretty cool too. Alright, so they got a lot of good options, man. I just don't know. Because I've tried Hoka's, I've tried Brooks Brothers. I want to try either on or new balance this time but i don't know which i want to go with so i'm gonna i'm gonna probably look for like three or four different good options and then uh go from there so i'll let y'all know uh, what i'm thinking in a second all right so tell me what y'all think i might try these on i looked them up they say these are good um so we about to see i got somebody bringing out a pair to try on so i'll update y'all in a second all right so i got them y'all um I like the colorway, to be honest, and this time, these are like 130. I ain't leaving here until I know that these are the ones, you feel me? I wear 10 and a half in regular shoes, um, 11 in like trainers and stuff like that, and New Balance, but um, for running shoes, I always go a whole size up, so these are 11 and a half. I'm about to see how these feel. I think these gonna be the ones, but I'ma uh I might try one more pair of something else on. Actually nah, I'm going with these. So I'm about to go ahead and grab them. Alright y'all, so I did secure the bag, you feel me? Uh, a new fresh pair of running shoes. So. Alright y'all was good, so I am back at the crib. First off, I'm gonna show y'all my shoes. One sec. First off, I wanted to show y'all my running shoes. So uh, my current running shoes are these Brooks Brothers Ghost, as y'all can see, are done up. Look at this. It was time for some new news, you feel me? So these are out. Ended up copping these New Balance 880 version 14 fresh foams. I love the colorway. These are my new go-tos. I walked around in the store, hop, skip, jump, 
ran um, and I made sure these were the ones before I left. They got good heel support, good art support, you feel me? And the front, when you walk, it's like you bounce, off, bounce right off the ground, you feel me? So these are my new go-tos. Wanted to show y'all those. Next up, let's keep it at shoes for a second. I was able to pick up these Nike Air Pegasus 2005s. I, um, when these first originally dropped, I had been watching them and eyeing them for a good while to see if they would stay in stock or maybe even eventually end up going on sale. Um, and what actually ended up happening was the day after I bought these, they vanished from Nike's website. So I'm glad I caught them when I did. Um, they might be back up now, but I went back and back, went back to look for them and they're gone. But here they are. I showed these on my Instagram and my Twitter. These crazy. I'm gonna get some good fits off of these. Um, just a, some good, you know, throngs. Get some good fits off of these, but want to show out those. And I don't want, want to make this portion of the video too long, so I'm gonna run through quick. So that is it for sneakers. Uh, then I also wanted to show y'all, I got a new fragrance as well. This is the last one I'm gonna be purchasing for a while. Stronger With You Intensely by Giorgio um, Armani, you feel me? Yeah, it's like a good vanilla-y, um, powdery, um, vanilla, powder, cinnamon. It just smells so good. This one is gonna be a good one for the fall and the winter, but it was on sale, had to go ahead and grab it. So y'all check that out whenever y'all get a chance. And lastly, I ordered this uh, zip up hoodie from this streetwear brand called DOS Atlanta, D-O-S-A-T-L. Um, I got this on a pre-made restock. I have seen it when it first dropped. I was like, oh, that's fire. But then um, after I kept seeing it, kept seeing it, I was like, yeah, as soon as they restock, I need that. Um, so I'll show y'all. Uh, this is the zip up. It got the yellow full body with the orange arms. Um, and funnily enough, I had I got something like this in the bag um, that might actually end up coming, but I'm gonna keep y'all in tune with that. And it got dose on the back. Same thing from the front. But um, yeah, this is fire. Good quality. This is gonna be good to pull out for the um, winter and the fall. Uh, good pickup. So just something uh, extra to add to the arsenal good good drip you feel me um and it's like screen print on the front yep but yeah this fire so i wanted to show y'all that um and that's the last of my pickup so i'm about to go ahead hop in the shower wash my hair um eat me some dinner then get prepared for tomorrow so i'll pick the camera back up in the morning all right what's good y'all man so we out here 448 448 just got to the airport well to the shuttle parking um they about to take us to the airport so pick the camera back up when we get in there all right so made it through tsa on the way to the gate um got it what i think it's an 11 minute walk time to the gate so boarding starts at 5 29 and it's 5 19 so got 10 minutes so be right on time All right, so we're on a plane. <laughs> Come on. Just got on a plane. Um, it's 5:49. We're supposed to leave at 6:13. So, pick the camera back up when we get there. So, just landed. Um, pulling up to the airport. Pick the camera back up when we get outside. All right, so just got to the airport. Um, waiting on Kayla to get out the bathroom, but just got to the airport. About to uh, call an Uber and go grab some breakfast. This is place that we found on Instagram called the Golden Diner. Um, so we gonna hit the Golden Diner and uh, probably put the camera back up when we get an Uber or something. But I keep y'all tapped in. What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. Hello. Hey, how are you? Got the Uber. 
it took us like an hour to get here. Uh, about to go get eats. This place called the Golden Diner. So, walking the New York streets, man. Sun, yo, B, you know? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we just got to uh, Golden Diner. It's a spot. They have like pancakes and breakfast and brunch. I want to say, um, but I'll show y'all the food uh, once we get back to the table. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. I think I'm ready. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? It's so far away. So leaving uh, the Golden Diner, pancakes, I give it like a 7 out of 10. At first they were smacking, but then they got overly sweet. I don't know what it was. And I like sweet stuff, but it just started going crazy. Now we about to make our next move. Uh, so she want to go to a coffee shop, so we about to hit a little coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look at the locket. Look at the locket. Yo, what is what going on? You not tell me you ain't gonna let me miss out on that? Nah, I tried to not pay much attention to it. Cause why? <laughs> All right, so we just got to the coffee shop. It's called Not As Bitter. As y'all can see, uh, it's a cool little spot. I don't even know. How do you get in? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Are they open? Oh. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Just make sure to stir good. Okay. Child, so I just got my, I don't even know, uh, banana split espresso, I guess. He said it's pretty good, so I'm gonna test this out. Um, Give y'all update on how it tastes. Let me prop the cam up. He said make sure I stir it, so. Oh, it's too late now. Let's see how it tastes. That's actually pretty good. I give it like a eight out of ten. It tastes like banana pudding, a banana pudding drink. All right, now just put up to the Urban Outfitters. About to go in here. I don't. I just go at the flow. No, I feel like it's it's. You can't see everything that's in there. You know what I'm saying? You need to get the frame right. I don't, I don't care about no frame. All right, so just stuff out of Urban Outfitters, they ain't really had nothing in there. Um, but this wasn't even where we were supposed to be at. It just so happened to be by the uh, coffee spot. So now we about to go to Soho. Just call the Uber, they'll be here in two minutes. Um, so let's get it. All right, just stuff out of Supreme. They wouldn't let me vlog in there, but it is right there as y'all can see. Now look where I'm at. My house, my dome. All right, so just left out of the nudie store. They didn't really have any pairs that I wanted. Um, I have a few pair on my radar, but eh, didn't need to get them today. And I already got like six different versions, lean deans, uh, thin lens, shit like that, you feel me? But I did pick up some from Supreme. Got some socks and some boxers. Didn't really see any tees I wanted. Um, they got good graphics, but the quality on their tees is terrible. 
as you know if you've shopped at supreme before um but yeah now we move on to what's next i don't know we just walking gonna go down in the area around where nike and ritzia and all the other stores uniqlo and stuff like that at so let's get it so i don't know if y'all ever heard of this but it's glossier fragrance called you they say it's a unisex fragrance and it smells different on everyone's skin it smells pretty good to me um it's not too crazy or nothing that i would go crazy about so i'm not gonna pick it up but it smells good you guys should give it a try how long you know we gotta go in your knee club hello hello thank you just pulled up the Uniqlo. You know we got had to come in here. Come on now. Uniqlo. I'm putting you down. Top tier quality tees. I'm putting you down. Now we about to go in Kith. Let's see what they got. Yes, for me, like, So, if y'all don't know what Kith is, basically like a, a streetwear slash luxury streetwear brand. Um, and they also have like ice cream, they call it Kith Treat. So, that was their menu I just showed. But, pretty cool store so far. Alright, so I don't know what the last clip was, but um, we're going to Adidas right now we're in Adidas store. Uh, bro, it's on my back, ain't it? Better Shopify store. Shout out to Shopify, man. That's how I get money these days. So the time is one o'clock on the dot. We got about six more hours here, I would say. Um, it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, we do need to do a few more things. Um, I would say I want to try chopped cheese. I want to grab some pizza or something. And then uh, we also found this little uh, pudding spot that we want to hit. So um, yeah, I ain't find no drip for real just yet. Like, went to the Supreme store, got accessories, but no real drip. What's up, Brody? Got right, down. Clocking my, clocking me, ain't it got now? But yeah, um, I'll pick the camera back up, show y'all what's next. So look, I ain't really seeing too much swag out here, man. It's supposed to be the fashion capital, man. Uh, I don't know what's going on, man, but it's all good. Uh, now we're gonna try to find something to eat. Uh, we don't have that much more time. It's 1.45, so uh, gotta get some eats and hit that uh, put in place. So we gonna try to maximize our time moving forward. I keep y'all tapped in. About to get hit. I would love a New York check. Oh, he's about to be fighting for your life. Out here on the New York streets, like I own this shit, son. Yo. This is how niggas want me to have my camera out all day. <laughs> <laughs> Just like this. No words. Please, please. Just move me. Alright, just got pizza. We'll see how this hit. It's called Ups. 
side pizza. So I'll let y'all know what it tastes like. We had Aim Leon Dior. Dior. Um, let's see what they got in here. Great quality pieces as always. Just walked in the door. Alright, so they made me turn my camera off, so I left. Well, fuck them. But, um, yeah, on to the next. It's matcha ice cream. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Matcha ice cream. Let's see. Matcha. I'm in the Carhartt store. Good quality. Good quality jackets. This is fire. Good quality. You gotta get me a Carhartt this year for, uh, for the winter. Good vest over there. Good quality pants. Hey, chat. <laughs> Put L's in the chat. L's in the chat. Loser. You said it's all right. Nah, bro, you said you want a soul song. Oh, soul stage. You didn't find it. Hey, you, 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 you put it in your shit. I didn't put it in shit. You said let's go this way. Yo, now we in Zara. Um, I'm sweating, boy. It ain't hot up here, but it's like, I don't know. This is good. I'm shopping for guys. I'm hot. Oh, you don't be talking about my channel. See, that's the problem with people. People always want things out loud, you know? But anyways, um, we're in Zara right now. Uh, still ain't find no trip. This is crazy. I, re I really gotta come on a day where like, or uh, not a day, but like a week or a weekend where I could spend a couple days actually really search through stuff, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I keep y'all updated, man. I still didn't get a chopped cheese. I ain't leaving here till I get one. I'll update y'all. All right, so quick update. I am now in the Nike store. Um, oh, that air felt good. Um, but about to walk around, see what all I can find in here. They might actually, this is, a, I think, it's got like four or five floors. So they might have something for me to grab. Got a basketball court in here. That's crazy. I wonder if they actually let people hoop on it. Mm -hmm. Wow, tears coming out of my eyes. Yo, so right now I'm on a journey to find some good chopped cheese. The locals here told me to go to Brooklyn, but I don't have enough time because it is 4:12. Um, we need to be to the airport by 5:30. Um, so I'm going to the spot in Soho that I found on TikTok called Soho Deli. I'm um, gonna say they have pretty good chopped cheese. So I'm about to grab one of those. And then we're gonna try to hit the pudding spot as well um, on the way to the airport. So, pity camera back up in a second. All right, so I just ordered my chopped cheese with everything. About to grab me a drink. Um, let's see what they got. I want a juice. Um, let's see what they got in here. Snapple. Pink lemonade, grape aid. I'll take a grape aid. I ain't never had this before. And a chopped cheese. So I'll show y'all when I grab it. All right, y'all. So chopped cheese has been secured. Um, I'm about to actually run out of battery. So I got to find somewhere to post up real quick so I can show y'all the chopped cheese. Uh, let's see. Give me one second. I ain't gonna lie, I really gotta pee like crazy, but chill for now. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all the chopped cheese. I'm gonna try it, cause I am running out of battery. Look at that quality. Look at the quality of that chopped cheese, man. So now I'm about to uh, take a quick picture and then taste it. 
Let's try it. I'm gonna take it out of that wrapper. It stinks out here, by the way, but whatever. Hey, if they saying the ones in Brooklyn better than this, I don't see how. Soho Deli, 10 out of 10. Out. I think the best to me, I wasn't sure. So I'm not gonna be able to do this Saturday. Hey, Mr. Great Bay, I don't know what's going on, but I pull up here just for the delis. So we just got to this deli. I mean, not deli. It's <laughs> we just got to this bakery called Magnolia Bakery. They got strawberry shortcake pudding. They got banana pudding and all type of pudding. So I'm just try some regular banana pudding. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try some regular banana pudding, and when I get it, I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about it. All right. So I want to show y'all the banana pudding. I got the other cup in my other hand. Um, hold on. I'm gonna try it and let y'all know how I feel about it. Give me one. So. All right, let's see. It's good, but. It's not that southern banana pudding, of course, but it's good. All right, so we at the airport, man. Um, we got here maybe an hour ago. I was at my uh, camera charge. It is now 7.09, and we uh, leave in about five minutes. The plane starts boarding, so uh, I'll probably pick the camera back up once uh, we get back to Charlotte. Alright y'all, so finally back in Charlotte. It is 1047. Um it's pretty much the end of the video. 12 hours in New York. Took a little day trip to shop around, get some good eats, try a few different things, you feel me? Like I said, it was kind of in a rush, so I really ain't get the look, look, look. But also they ain't really ain't had no shit. New York's supposed to be the fashion mecca of this United States, you feel what I'm saying? But I'll be back soon. Did end up copping some Supreme socks, some, some shit, <laughs> some Supreme socks and some Supreme boxers. Um, That's all I could really find today, but appreciate y'all tapping in with me, man. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, and um, we out.